Hello. Today I'm going to explain about how to fit a TS5204 door closer on the push side of the door. As it opens this way, the door closer will fit on that end of the door. First of all, you need to take the door closer body box. Inside here you'll find the fitting instructions. In every box there's two sets of instructions. As we're working on the push side of the door, we need the fitting instructions that have a dotted line on them. First thing we need to unfold the fitting instructions and decide which hand our door is that we're working with. In this case, the hinge is on this side, in here, so it needs to be this way around. Firstly, you fold the corner over, and then the second fold you do is along the top line. This then fits into the corner of the door and tucks right into the door frame. Very important, it goes to the edge of the door or the edge of the rebate. Then you fasten with some self adhesive tape, holding it in place neat and flat. Pilot drill the four fixings in the door. And then, pilot drill the frame above. If you then remove the template and position a little lower on the door, this is ideal for future reference. It helps to get the door closer the correct way around on installation. Position and fix the door closer to match the template. Make sure all the screws are tight, firmly fixed. And you're ready for the arm. First thing you'll need is a parallel alarm bracket. This is found in the arm box. It goes on the door frame, this way around, and is more easily fixed with the door open. The next part to do is to separate the arm with the Allen key provided in the box and then fit the secondary arm onto the bracket on the door frame. When fitting the secondary arm you'll notice the bracket is not symmetrical. Fit it this way around with the shortest side that way. The main part of the arm to fit goes this way around with the square drive straight onto the pinion. And this is fitted with a Starlock washer and a pinion bolt. This will be more easily with the door open. Bring the two parts of the arm together and slide inside each other. Fix these with the Allen key bolts you took out previously. This can be more easily done again with the door open. Always remember to adjust it so that when the door closer comes to its final closed position, the arm finishes parallel with the door. Frame. When adjusting the door closer, the first valve to adjust is valve number one. To increase the speed, you turn it anti-clockwise. To decrease the speed, you turn it clockwise. This valve works from fully open to approximately 15 degrees closed. 
second valve to adjust is the bottom valve here. Turn it clockwise to reduce the speed and anti-clockwise to increase it. There's no reason for the door closer ever to bang. The high engineering inside here makes it very easy to adjust and very well controlled. The next valve to adjust if required is the back check valve. This is found on the other end of the door closer body. This will mean that the cushioning effect the back check has as the door is opened quickly will come into play sooner. So turn it clockwise for it to come into action sooner and it will stop the door from banging against the screen or it'll go into the wall or a desk that might be there. If your door closer has a delayed action valve this is found under the edge next to the pinion. This way around it's there and if you're fitting the door closer on the other side of the door it will obviously be underneath. The purpose of the delayed action valve when you open the door to its full extent it will remain open for a short time up to a maximum of 60 seconds. Then it will shut with its normal speed and latch valves in the normal way to its fully closed position. When you're fully satisfied with all your adjustments on the valves, you can fit the pinion cap as a finished product. Alternatively, you may wish to fit an all over cover. So if you remove the cap take the cover from its box remove the clip out and then the door closer the cover will fit straight on the cover comes with a fixing screw which can be fastened on by opening the door This is for the security purposes. Stops the cover rattling and stops it being removed and tampered with. Thank you for watching how to fit a TS5204 door closer. Complete with adjusting the valves, the speed valve, the latch valve, the back check valve and the delayed action valve. All fitted on the push side of the door. Guaranteed for 25 years.